to talk about the new Kamen Rider that's just been leaked. Kamen Rider got charred. Uh, uh, yeah. It's a weird name, but we're gonna go with it. I'm currently moving at the moment, so a lot is happening, and the room is kind of a mess, but probably next video I'll have a completely new setup, so we look forward to that. Uh, I've also just been at a wedding, so a lot is happening, and not much of- I haven't been able to do much work. Um, but hopefully with this quick, quick video, I'll be able to catch up on the Gotchard um, rumours and such. So let's get into it. Anyway, so this is the, the new look of the Kamen Rider. Honestly, it looks so cool. I love the colouring, the blue and the orange. It just looks so nice. The arrows, as I said in a tweet here, that it looks very similar to Hawk's um, OC, Kamen Rider OC. And honestly, like with the arrows and such, but so going, looking more into the details of the suit, there is the Ichigo kind of antlers, which I think is really, really cool. They've got like goggles or like kind of like rider goggles, but like bike rider goggles, I guess you could say, which I really, really like. And it looks like it kind of goes like there's an indent around the helmet, like the goggles have a strap going around, which I think is really, really cool. Um, we got the the usual glasses, um, lens I guess you could call them, but it has the arrows in there as well. Uh, going further down we've got really cool shoulders. Do we have a, a scarf? I think that might be a scarf. So people have been saying it's looking like it's going back to the Showa era of Kamen Rider, which I think is really interesting. Uh, got the simple black suit under undergarments. I'm, I don't know what this is called, but like the basic suit underneath. It's got gloves! It's got wh white gloves! That's so sick! What else do we have? We've got something on the top, uh, which is called the belt. It looks really, really interesting, but we'll talk about the belt in a second. Uh, on to the legs, we've got something on the, on the legs. That doesn't really help. But then the bottom of the shoes is the orange arrows. And honestly, I love the coloring i just i keep looking at the coloring and going this looks like a cool carmen rider the the blue and the orange is such a nice combination also uh <laughs> someone called it like a breastplate but like an ag they were saying why does he have like boobs i know that's not what it is but it almost looks like an engine uh but we'll touch on that in a second when we look at the additions so here is the belt honestly love what it looks like again with the gloves two are the cards so people are saying that it's a card gimmick which i think is going to be awesome so it looks like you have two cards or two power-up cards that go in either side of the belt again with the orange belt and the blue lines going through from the suit the suit also has like little arrows which is kind of going up and down which is kind of cool i think hawk said it looks like a screen on the front of the belt but honestly it kind of looks like it just looks like data, like data or something like that. I think it's really cool. I think the two cards go into the belt, obviously because he's holding two cards up and pushing them down. But I think they must combine in the middle to make a, uh, a specific suit. Kind of like Kamen Rider Geats where you have the two buckles that go into the driver and then you have half and half. It must be like that because... The reason why I'm saying this is because going back to the suit really quickly, this is apparently the grasshopper which I will touch on later and this is the train uh let's go on to that now actually this is the train card which looks like it's like max power or something there seems to be like a power sort of thing but it also has like an engine or kind of mechanical symbol here like a car or a vehicle so this makes me think that we're gonna get loads and loads and loads of cards that have different abilities that are mechanical that are machinery kind of thing, kind of touching on the King and Oja kind of element of the bugs and the and the fact that they're all robots, which is again really cool. It's called the Steam Liner, which obviously ah sorry, I'm just <laughs> I'm just noticing so much more. If you look at the train, it has Rider on the front, but it also has kind of like the lenses of Carmen Rider helmets also, and it also has this arrow kind of motif that we have with this Rider on the front here, which I think is so cool. But this is the engine-y part, so if we go back to the suit, there's a furnace-looking breastplate here, which is really, really cool, I think. So that would be the engine. Uh, then, here is another card, which is Hopper 1, which I 
it's very obvious that this is reference to Ichigo, so one for Ichigo, but also the hopper, a grasshopper. This, however, has the power all the way down here, so it's probably like very basic uh, base power here with the one. It has the antennas, it's got like wings, which is really, really cool. I don't know if that helps, but again, going back to this logo, whereas the other one had the kind of like car mechanical symbol. This has a bug symbol, again with the arrows. I love the fact that there are arrows everywhere. I didn't know that that was such an important aspect to this design, but I love the, the kind of arrow aesthetic. So again, we've got the grasshopper up here with the goggles and the eye and the antennas. And then we have down here, the furnace of the train, even like a little train top where the steam comes out at the top here, which is really, really nice. Um, just. Those gloves, I keep going back to those gloves, they're so cool, but I think this is definitely a scarf, which is really, really nice. Uh, then this is the gun, I guess you could say. Uh, very basic, it kind of looks very cheap. <gasps> Don't come at me too aggressively. But it has that like plasticky feel, so this will probably definitely be the toy we get. It's not as nice as some other guns and things that we've had in other shows, but it's simplicity sometimes is best. So with the card, you can see them again with the scarf of some sort, the orange and the blue. It looks really cool with the lines as well. And also something I love about this aesthetic, especially in the cards, in the belt, and in the gun, it's all very digital. It's got these lines like data, which I think is gonna be a cool idea. It's gonna be a cool as like aesthetic. Uh, love the cards. Um, we might, people were saying that there might be like a, whether well, this was original theories, like I think it'd still be cool with a gacha kind, kind of idea, um, but from looking at this initially, I'm expecting it to be very much with the cards there are, the bug cards and then the mechanical vehicle cards, which will change the outfit in whatever way. I don't think the color will necessarily change too much from the orange and blue, because I think it would be, it'd be a waste not to have it. Um, but I also think that the breastplate and the helmet top will change because if we go back to the belt, yes, here you can see the eyes and the mouth, but nothing is here for the antennas or the top of the head and nothing is here underneath. So I have a feeling that the cards, once they've been inserted, will almost in with the arrows go in and out and the top of the, the head bit will be, for example, the hopper. So it will turn into the eyes of, I guess, motorcycle eyes, which is in the suit here and with the antennas. And then the bottom piece here, oh, bottom piece here will then in fact be the mechanical train part. I am really excited to see what other updates, uh, upgrades they have, because I think it's really interesting, especially here with the grasshopper, with the one and the little logo here. And this is three? Is that, oh no, it's a nine. I thought it was a three. No, that's a nine. So like this is, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How does that work? Huh? Make it make sense. Anyway, uh, but overall, I think he looks really cool. There have been rumors that there will be a female rider, which I'm always going to be really excited about. I wonder what the other riders will be like, though. Will it be a theme where they're all bugs and they're all mechanical vehicles and you can swap between them? Or will it just be this guy looks like this because that's he's aesthetic and everybody else will have different kind of suits like in other shows? Uh, I don't have a clue what the theme of the show will be, it looks like arrows, so it could be data, it could be signaling, it could be something like that. I can't tell what the theme will be. Um, but yeah, I hope this has been a nice video for you guys to watch. I'm sorry it's so rushed and it's a, a little bit rough, but I, as I said before, I had a wedding and I'm also moving, so everything's going at the same time. So hopefully I get this done, hopefully you get to see it, and hopefully I'll be back with more consistent videos soon. Anyway, bye guys! Kaza Henshin, matinee!